Hi, I'm Lorna Clydman, and this is your Kennelex tutorial on double and single arm swings. So when you're starting to prepare for the swing position, the arms are straight, shoulders are back and down, so you never want to feel or, or look like the bell is pulling you forward with a rounded spine. Feel like you're holding those, the bell from the bottom of your shoulder blades, so your shoulders are down and your spine is long, the abs will be tight. Knees are soft, butt is out, right? Here's your hip hinge. The bell goes back between the legs so that the wrists connect to the innermost upper thighs, as high as you can get them. And then you push the legs straight, pelvis comes under you, and there goes the bell. Now, one thing that's really important to focus on is not flexing your trunk over as the bell comes down. So many people do this, that as the bell is descending, their trunk is descending prematurely. You don't want to do that. You want to wait. So the arms are going to come down, and as the forearms come to the body, then you flex over, and you also, as you come up, the arms release from the body. So they're working in unison and not separately. So let me show you a few reps with improper form, and then I'll show you with proper form. So this would be a premature flexing over, right? So I'm using my back muscles to get the bell up, and I'm disconnecting my arms and my trunk. And now I'll show you with the connection. I'm going to wait. So you see that the arms come to the trunk, and the bell goes back. You wait till the last second. And this applies to the single arm swing as well. You don't want to flex over and have that arm separate from your body. It's together. And then you get a bigger hip drive and there's no, absolutely no tension in the back muscles. The back muscles are working to extend naturally and to support you. But there's no extraneous strain on the back muscles. Slow the momentum, stand up. And remember, always exhale as the bell comes up. Okay, talk to you later.